What's your reaction? Any sense of relief? Or how do you feel about it? No, I mean, there's no sense of relief. You, uh, you come out every day for an opportunity. You know, I'm thankful uh, to coach that he believes in me. Uh, I'm thankful for my teammates that believe in me. And, you know, you just get ready for today's practice, go out and get ready for Green Bay. How and when did you find out? Um, we, we found out this morning. Coach just brought us in on the um, post news. Do you see any positives in having this done sooner than later? Um, I mean, it's like I said, it's always up to coach and what, what he wants to decide. I know all the other quarterbacks uh, have done a lot to help me get to this point and we've got a great room so I'm really appreciative of those guys too. Remember, can you talk about the just the emotion uh, and all the things that you must be feeling about taking over uh, this role as the starting quarterback at the Cleveland Browns? Uh, you know, like I said, it's an honor. It's an honor to be um, you know, one of 32 uh, in this league. So um, you take that, you respect that, and you continue to go out and work and, and try to get better. Robert, did, you ever doubt, the, did you ever doubt that you would get to this point after the last Three years there in Washington. Um, you, you never, you, you should never doubt. You know, there's a quote out there, and it says, "If you don't believe, who will?" Um, so I'm thankful for my teammates and coach, uh, Coach Jackson, Sasha, and all these guys for believing in me as a player and uh, giving me an opportunity. One of the comments uh, Hugh Jackson made in his statement to the press about it was that now it's on Robert to show we made the right decision. Do you agree with that, or do you feel that you're still? Every day is a day to prove. Oh, every day. You come out here, you, you work hard. Um, you try to execute the offense uh, to the best of your ability. Um, so, you know, it's every, it's an everyday thing. There's never a day off. There's never a sense of relief. Uh, you constantly got to be working to get better. What do you think you showed Hugh for him to trust you enough to hand you that job? Um, yeah, I don't know. You got to ask Coach. Uh, you really do. So I just try to come out here do the best I can and lead the guys the best that I can. And, that's all I can do. Robert, what you've been through the last couple of years make you appreciate you know, the opportunity that you're coming with? Do you, do you understand it a little better too, do you think? Yeah, you know, everything that you go through in life is going to, it's a lesson. Um, and it's up to you to decide to use that lesson in a positive or negative way. And like I said, since I got here, I've been real thankful for uh, just the opportunity. Because uh, they don't come around that often. And uh, when you get one, you got to seize it. Hugh has talked a lot about creating the, an environment to make his quarterback successful, without even mentioning your name. But um, can you talk about that? Like, has he done that more than any coach you've had, or is it similar to what Shanahan did your rookie year? It seems, he seems to be doing things to help you succeed rather than just coaching. Yeah, I think coach has done you know a great job not just helping the quarterback succeed, but putting us in positions, offensive line wise, backs, wide receivers, giving guys an opportunity to make plays. And, um, that's all you want as an offensive guy is an opportunity to make a play. And, uh, it's our job to go out and execute. So he's done a good job of putting us in those positions. And um, guys have done a great job out here in training camp of making plays for him. Robert, what are you what are you looking for Friday night? This is out of the way now, and you know the offense. It seemed to be clicking here in the you know the, the scrimmages we saw, but what are you looking for against an actual opponent? What's the goal? The, the main objective? No, it's to go out and execute. Uh, that, that's always the goal. Um, anytime you, you strap it up, you want to go win a game. So, um, regardless of how long we play or, or whatnot, that's up to coach. Um, when we're in there, we'll be ready to go. Did you always believe uh, that you would get another opportunity, even when things seemed at its bleakest? Um, you know, I think. When you're, when you're going through tough times or, 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 or going over hurdles in life, you always have to realize that those who, who don't give up uh, are the ones that end up winning in the end. So uh, as long as you don't give up and you keep working, uh, you'll, you'll get another opportunity. But you have to live each day as if, as if it's your last. So just try to get better at what you can and, and control what you can and uh, pray that, that God takes care of the rest. What kept you from giving up? Um, you know, just the belief in, in the guy upstairs, knowing that uh, as long as I do my job, uh, he'll always come through for you. So uh, I'm just real thankful. Uh, what have you improved on? For the opportunity. What have you improved on most since uh, you got here? Uh, I don't know. You got to ask Coach that question. It was kind of, kind of a bold, kind of a bold move for the Hugh Jackson to, to bring you to Browns as his first quarterback and then ignore quarterback with the first pick of the draft that they had. Um, did you feel in any way a responsibility to make it, not only to reclaim your career, but, but uh, 
reward his faith in you? Um, you know, Coach, uh, he gave me an opportunity to come to Cleveland to help do what he plans to do here, and that's turn this thing around and make it a consistent win. Um, and I thank all the guys that, that he kept uh, on the roster, all 90 guys are excited about that opportunity. Because there's a lot of guys that aren't playing football right now. And the guys that are here, we're focused on what Coach has in mind. Uh, and it's what we all want. We all want to be winners. And that's what we're working for. We've heard so much about the, the meeting that you and Q had when during the recruitment phase before you officially signed here. Um, from your perspective, could you kind of take us through what you told Q or the, the impression that you made upon him that obviously gave him the the drive to, to get you in here and, and really commit to, to developing you? Yeah, I, I can't give you uh, what the impression I gave him. You know, all I can say is I was uh, honest about everything that I had been through and, and, and told him the lessons that I had learned uh, and then, you know, did a workout. So uh, that, that's all you can do. Uh, learn from your mistakes, uh, learn from what's happened to you, and then grow from that. What's the biggest lesson you learned? Two more. Uh, yeah, there's, I don't need to say that. What is Rob, that? Now, now that you're in, in this place at this stage of this preseason, what do you think is within your reach this year? Uh, it's not about what's within my reach, it's about this team. Uh, and I think this, this guy is the limit. You never want to put a limit on what you want to do. Everybody uh, believes they're going to go 16-0 right now. And it's about who's going to go out and make that happen and win the most games and, and uh, win when it's winning time. So. Uh, that's all we're focused on. Robert, it seems like um, every one of your teammates that we talk to uh, are really excited about you really buying in and on board. Throughout this process, uh, is that one of the most gratifying things to you that your, your teammates are really rallying around you? Uh, you know, I think that's what you always want. You want to come out and show your teammates that they can trust you, um, that you're going to get the job done. You're going to put them in the right positions to be successful and get them the ball. So um, it's just been really enjoyable to come to a new city with a new coach on a new team and have an opportunity to uh, just go out and play the game of football the way you love and do it with great people. Good.